Hi everybody, we are going to be making homemade vegetable beef soup right now. So Chris is with me again and that's awesome, I need a helper. And so he's going to come over here and we're going to show you what ingredients go in here. So the first thing that we're going to be putting in here is this is about um, a cup, a cup and a half of creamer potatoes, which creamers are the little, uh, real small little potatoes that they kind of come in a variety with the red and the, the baking potatoes kind of. So those are going to go in here. They're diced. And then next what we're going to put in is there's four bullion, beef bullion cubes, about a teaspoon of garlic, granulated garlic, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a, a good tablespoon of parsley. And we're just going to put those over those uh, potatoes. And next we're going to put in, um, it's a cup, about a well, it's about actually a large onion, a large white onion, and you can use actually any kind you want. Um, and the reason that all these vegetables are going in the bottom is because they need to cook more than other things that are going in here. And then a cup of celery, chopped. The onions are chopped. Celery is going to be chopped. And then this is about a, a one and a half bell peppers, and I used a half because I wanted a little other color in there. So there's um, a yellow one and a red one that are going in there. Um, I'm also using, I'm going to be using two cans of diced tomatoes and they're um, 14 point or 14 and a half uh, ounces each. But I wanted to add, I had these, um, you know, grape tomatoes that I wanted to use up into something. So I'm going to toss them in there too and those are going to be good in there. And then I'll put the diced tomatoes in there. I'm going to put two cans in there. They don't have to be drained or anything like that. Um, and then, oops, hang tight Chris for a sec. I'm putting three pounds of, of ground beef that's already browned and drained in there. We use a lot of ground beef around this household or ground turkey too you could use if you wanted. And then I'm gonna put a, a two pound bag of frozen Brussels sprouts in there. You could also, if you didn't want to use Brussels sprouts, you could also use cabbage. Um, you know like a whole cabbage in there. And then this is just a one pound uh, bag of frozen mixed vegetables and all of this is going to cook and I'm not going to be stirring it until it's cooked down a little bit and that'll be a few hours but then I'm going to put a can and this is a uh, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce in there just pour that over and I'm going to put a bottle of water any kind of bottle water or you can use your tap water I just like to use bottled water because I know for sure that it's pretty clean. You don't know, always know what's going in your city water. <laughs> but So I kind of rinse the tomato sauce out of the can with the water and just pouring the rest in there. And after it cooks, lastly I'm going to be putting, um, it's about a half a cup of brown rice in there. I'm not going to add it yet. I'm going to wait till it's almost almost close to done, like about maybe a half hour before it's done, because it's instant rice. So, but this is basically ready to go. Um, I'm going to cook it um, on low this time. Get this thingy going, because I uh, just want it to cook. I'm going to set it for six hours. Because this is where it's almost four o'clock in the morning right now, <laughs> and so we want this to cook overnight so it's nice and hot for lunchtime tomorrow. And so I'm just going to set the crock pot to low. 
six hours. And I'll come out and, and stir this a couple of times so everything's, you know, we know everything's getting cooked well and stuff. And then, I, then I'll, like I said, I'll add the um, rice in um, about a half hour before it's going to be done. And I'll probably do a second video, uh, a shorter video, just so that you can see what it looks like when it's done. So that's all we got to say right now. And we will see you guys later. This is really also a really hearty soup. It's really good. And you can use, if you didn't have mixed vegetables, you could use a can of green beans, a can of, um, you know, corn, peas, carrots, or you could use fresh ones. Um, like I said, you could use a cabbage in there if you wanted to instead of the Brussels sprouts. I tried the Brussels sprouts and they were so good in it that I just decided to keep that in there. But you could add also like a rutabaga or a turnip in it or anything like that, okay? So that's all we're going to say right now and we will talk to you later when this is all done.